in these bleak times, I have decided to run for truth and justice, which takes the form of running for president of the United States as a candidate for the People's Party. I enter in the quest for truth. I enter in the quest for justice. And the presidency is just one vehicle to pursue that truth and justice, what I've been trying to do all of my life. I come from a tradition where I care about you. I care about the quality of your life. I care about whether you have access to a job with a living wage, decent housing, women having control over their bodies, health care for all, the escalating, the destruction of the planet, the destruction of American democracy. Democracy creates disruption. It creates an eruption. It creates an interruption wide from below. The energies of everyday people is manifest. And I know there are precious people in your life who you care for. That's why it's important for you to be involved, important for you to participate. We're not talking about hating anybody. We're talking about loving. We're talking about affirming. We're talking about empowering those who have been pushed to the margins because neither political party wants to tell the truth about Wall Street, about Ukraine, about the Pentagon, about big tech. Neo-fascists like Brother Trump or milquetoast neoliberals like Brother Biden. Wow, well, I'm so okay. happy to make a world-shaking decision. You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, I know gangsters when I see them. <laughs> and gangster is not a subjective expression. It's an objective condition. Mm. Do we have what it takes? We shall see. But some of us are going to go down fighting, go down swinging with style and a smile, accenting the best in you and trying to tease out the best in me. Let's do it together. Let's put him up full mask. Um, it goes without saying I have tremendous respect for the scholar, Dr. Cornell West. I'm very glad he's running to push the agenda of truth and progressive thinking. There are some challenges he will have to overcome, including that of the organization he represents. In this moment, I want to highlight what he's known for, academics and activism. That's what he is known for. Learning and doing is what he is known for. He is the former professor of the practice of public philosophy at Harvard University and also former professor at Princeton University. He has lectured all over the planet Earth. Everyone knows Dr. Cornell West. Um, we have to engage in a political reality that is disconnected from reality. It is unfortunate one political party has basically pushed the world into this massive deception of facts. But the truth is, our brother was correct. Uh, both political parties have engaged in it and they've played with it and they toyed with it. And all of a sudden, here comes Frankenstein being made alive. And we wanna act as if we don't know how this happened. Well, you played with lies so long and you were dishonest so much because you felt you weren't as bad as those guys. You were just a little bad. You weren't as deceitful as the other guys. You're just a little deceitful. All of it, all of it creates the collective energy that you see today. Dr. Cornel West was correct on the energetic flow of our collective consciousness. All right, Benny, thoughts? Yeah, so I guess I have two big thoughts. First and foremost, of course, Corner West, fantastic. Great that his name's gonna be out there. Great that he's gonna be pushing a bunch of issues. Aside from the asterisks of like all of the different issues that exist with the People's Party, right? Mm -hmm. But the other part to this that I think is really important, right? Is what we do with the shift in messaging that will probably come with Cornell West being a part of the conversation. Because fundamentally, when it comes to making big change like this, like we know that the People's Party isn't gonna like win the next presidency. We 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 know this flat out, right? 
But what we do also know is there's a real opportunity for people to change the conditions under which people in power make their decisions. That's which right. means that when you have national figures that are you know, pushing particular sets of issues, that is a moment in time when organizers in smaller communities should be focused on connecting people within the community and actually building institutions of power that are meant to change the conditions under which powerful people are making their decisions. And so fundamentally, Cornell West is one person who has his individual voice. And if we want to see significant changes in the world, we need to understand that that is just one small sliver of a broader system of change that needs to happen and come from regular working class folks like in the streets. Well said, all right.